back out. Again, three weeks in a row. Four weeks, aye, three weeks. And we're in the tiny English village of the Lake District. Amongst all the rocky fells, it's really rugged here. Rugged rocks. If you know, you know. If you don't know, don't ask. Not telling. Wee rab. How do? How's it going? It's been too long. <laughs> it has too been, long. been a long time. And guess who? Get stuffed. What do you need, right, mate? Shove it. Doing a drone shot. <laughs> Doing a drone shot. <laughs> Follow me. <clears throat> What's your thoughts? Don't really have any at the minute. Good. I'm hoping we're gonna in get pink. Hope we're gonna get the the tents up where we're going. Tents could be beautiful well, weather. Fingers crossed we get the tents up. It's a risky taking it. If not, we'll just come back here and get the fish down here, will we? Plenty of fluff spots there. Fish there, there. I probably could, yeah. Fish there. You could, couldn't you? You're really in the queue. Right, we'll nice see one. what happens. I'm walk far. There's already a big cave. Like our entrance to a mine, we reckon. The gate over it, stop you going in. There's something in there, like. You can hear it. <laughs> so hot. A little breeze. This is a good day. Another cave up there. The flaps open. It's ridiculously warm, mind. I'm sure pitch here. So we'll come through the valley. <laughs> All along here, it's rough and rugged here, it's great. He Very picturesque. Farmer. Different than the rest. Whew. She's a what new? Sweating like a pig. Sweating. Sweating like a pig. We're going up there behind him. Yep. There's no path, we've got to make our own path. Oof. Look at it. We're going to backdrop the rob there. Looks a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, you know. Mint that like. Yeah, that's a view that like, you know. You know what it's all about? It's all about it's all about the views. The brews. And the brews. And the boos. <laughs> the views, the brews, the boobs, the boobs. And the yous. It's all about the boobs. Aye, it's got daft already. Yeah. So it's in five minutes. Yeah. And then we're gonna head off. Oh, the side of that. So hot. Every so often there's a little breeze, just cools it down a bit. <sighs> he's looking at pictures there in case we we'll have to come uh, down. I think he's looking to... It's in case we can't get pitched up there. Well, I, that's, a, that, well, that's a good enough spot. Which like. could happen. We've got to go up there at the side of that. It's really <laughs> steep. So hot, so steep. Uh, good though. I know I sound like I'm complaining. This is not me complaining. Well, he's found a plan B anyway. Because we don't know if it's going to be alright on there. It's an unknown quantity. It's all part of the adventure. I'm not looking forward to this next bit though. Up there. And then along there. Crazy. Just <laughs> goes up. Heat, heat drains you. Put my cap back on, back of my neck's burning, that's why I put the back the front. We've underestimated this hill and our fitness because that's him coming up. We just come up this bit. So steep up there. We've still got right over the, the back of Rob, where Rob is right across there. 
Look at the views though. That's the sea over there, right in the distance. I don't know, what's that sea over there? What's that bay? Save up miles, yeah, like. Here's the sun out, just when you're coming up the steep bit. So warm me up a bit. Really hard. But we're getting there. We've got about 60 meters left. And then we might have to drop back down. We don't know what it's like at the top. Feeling it? Feeling the burn? Don't lie. Done. Is it a good hero shot? Oh, Jesus. A hero. Jesus. <laughs> We're still not at the top. So it's a sheer cliff. Claims this mountain, 529 meters. That feels a lot more. Ooh. Welcome to the top of the world. Ooh. It's a real narrow trig point. We're going to pitch down here where the bags are. Yeah, picking the pictures now. Little breeze, there's some flying ants up here, mind. There's a lot of flying ants up here. But that's alright, can handle flying ants because they don't bite you. Midges are, I don't like. But this is mint. Mint! We can't see where it is, we don't want to tell people where it is. You just got to find it. You know or you don't know. I don't know if you can see all these flying ants, there's millions of them. Oh, no. oh they're on me. The crown did me sure and everywhere. These two are just totally rambling on about where they're going to pitch. Yeah, that's what you're I mean, you can eat if you want, Mark. I don't really know about it. I might go here with that funny door. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put my tent up and just walk it about. Ah, oh, yeah, kind of mind is a. <laughs> Come back when we've got the tents up. So we've pitched up. The ants are seeming to die off a bit, or the wind's getting them. And uh, that's where we pitch. Pitch there. There's a lot of midges inside if you have a look at the inside. And then if you look over here. Oop. More tea vigor, more tea vigor. He's there, he's got the perch like. So this is, uh, this has turned out all right. Steepest climb we've done for a long time. We came from right down in that valley down there. We came over the hills where the wall is, down the, went down along the side and then up that path. And then up the side of here, it was really steep. Halfway up, we're thinking, what are we doing? But you know, get rewarded for it, hard work. There's your trig point, folks. So they're gone. This is Rob's, little Rob's secret place, so we're not gonna let on. We we'll respect the Rob. By not telling anybody where it is. Most people, a lot of people know, but. I've never even heard of the place. And I've done a lot of fouls around here.
I mean, let's face it, does it get any better than that? that. Look at him. I'm shattered. Absolutely cream cracker, like. It's been a hard day. It's been a really hard day. But it was good though, wasn't it? Worth it. Two and a half hour drive. Two and a half hour slog up here. <laughs> it was a long drive, like. 147 miles from my house. <laughs> Just for this rubbish. <laughs> exactly. Oh, definitely worth it, I think. So I've got my steak on. Got me old MSR stove so it doesn't burn the pan. I've got my salt, the sea salt, it's a 15 pound sea salt. It's <laughs> gone down, it's going, look how I haven't hardly used any. Well, I've actually used half of it, but since the last thing. Makes a difference though, doesn't it? Nah. <laughs> I don't know. Does it? No. Just tastes like salt to me. Well, some people say it's got a, um, I don't know. What's the, what's, what is it, what's the really expensive one? The one from France or something, isn't it? That's it, the Comarque oh, reason, that's it. I don't know what I was thinking, Mike. Fleur de Sel or whatever it's called. I just had a mad moment. It was James Martin. He had it on his, he was at the actual place where they do it, where they make it. And he's going, oh, you want to get this? It's great. So I thought, oh, I'll get some. Himalayan pink salt's better be nice though as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's the cheapest chip salt. Not as nice as that. Comarque. What you got to go with? Garlic butter, have you? I've got some garlic butter and mushrooms to go in. True. Nice oh, if you can get that fat rendered. Oh. Do you want me windshield? Big blue, eh? Nah, sorry, I've got a windshield. I'm keeping the windshield away from the tent. <laughs> <laughs> That's what done the damage last time. That's very nice. Garlic butter. With another steak, just to give it a bit of, uh, just to give it a bit of what do you call it? Um. Probably going to get this. Garlic butter. And then we'll throw the mushrooms in. Some more garlic butter. And we'll come back to it. Well, nearly there. Put the garlic butter in. Chestnuts are cooking nicely. <laughs> Fat's rendering nicely. You don't eat the fat, that's just purely for flavour. A big nice bit of fat there. You can eat it if you want, like. I prefer not to. Bit more seasoning. Pinch. Yeah, you need a pinch of this. It's so good. Let's just reduce down. Looks overcooked, but it's not.
So we're just sitting here, chilling out, watching the sun go down off a cellar field. And uh, can you believe it's raining? It's raining. So we're gonna have to duck in and hide. We've all had the tea. Let's finish with beers. So that's about it. Ah, it's raining. Can't really believe that. Like it's, that's not on, is it? We'll stop this and hide this camera. So here we are, sitting, chilling. Looking fine and dandy. That's some backdrop, that like, isn't it? No. Oh man, this is mint. It's just, okay. it's just the mint. We'll come down out of the wind. The breeze is getting a little bit. Uh, it does get a little bit too. Uh, Somebody's up there nicking chili. Three thousand pounds worth of Hilleberg tents. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Imagine you go back up and there's nothing. nothing there. It's just gone. <laughs> oh God. Someone followed you up and had it. You was it was a sh Did you zip yours up? No. Did you zip the inner? No. You might have a sheep in when you get back then. Aye, <laughs> the sheep guy, the guy in the tent. I've never had that before. Like. <laughs> We'll see. I learn from my mistakes. I've just, I've just opened me in. I just to let the. I've got the mesh on. Damp in it. I've got the mesh on. It's a little Get bit damp, so it's everything's a bit sticky. So humidity is up. But because it was so hot earlier and now it's really cool, that's when you get the condensation. So we've got to keep the doors open. If you keep the doors open on them tents, you'll be fine. I'm having my door open all night. Like yeah, I will. I did it last week and there was no well, condensation. The outside, yeah. outside door, you're going to leave doors. it open? Yeah. Um, I'm going to zip me in I'm not even going to do that. Do the mesh down and just leave the, leave the front, leave the door open. Mm. Lovely. Get a nice draft in. And it keeps the condensation off? No condensation. Uh, the thing is, you won't, you, won't have, you won't have a problem with condensation in that. In his tent. Oh, his tent's well right. ventilated. Oh, it's right. tent. vents at the bottom and it's blowing a bit, isn't it? My doors, like on the inner tent, that's all vent anyway. Anyway, have you got anything yeah. ridiculous to say? Nah, not allowed. Come on. Been told not to. No, it was no swearing. All oh, right. You can be ridiculous. Nah. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, 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 ding dong. <laughs> you do look like a Viking there, like, with your silly hat on. Yeah, yeah, ding dong. You look like Noggin the Nog. Who? Nog in the nog. Nog in the nog. Google it. God, I thought that was going somewhere else. No, That's Icelandic second. fairy tales. They were brilliant when I was kid. When I was a kid, nog in the nog was nog bad in the elephants and all that. It's what? Brilliant. Nog really? The... Do you not remember nog in the nog? Come on. Uh, before my time, man. Who remembers nog in the nog? <laughs> comment down below. Yeah, comment down below. Like and share and on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. You know it makes sense. That's not going in. That's not going in, is it? No. It depends <laughs> how I look. <laughs> anyway, we're just uh, chilling out. Trying for a sunset. Shoes off. Trying for a where's sunset. Your, where's your bits, Andrew? Jack Emma. Where's me bits? Yeah. You, yeah, your bits. Has he got his bits here? No, oh, they're there. They you mean me beer holders? Yeah, your beer holders. <laughs> Top tip, Mike. <laughs> you spilled your beer before? Because you didn't have him in your boots. Top tip. Oh, nah, no, no, that's, that's wrong. I can't put my beer in your shoes. Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Anyway, tomorrow we're going to go down the steepest path on earth. On my airs. And then off up there. Back around, back to the car. Yeah. Back, back, with mother. back to the car, just a quick... 150 mile home. Just a quick 150 miles to drive. Eee, 147 miles this drive. Is that from yours or from, uh, from mine? Mark's? From his. From mine. Is that a, bit, a wee bit further away than you then? 15 mile. No, uh, it's not mile much then, is it? So it's just so absolutely like madly. 130, 132 mile. 132 mile. We'll be right. To walk a mile and a half up a hill. Yeah, what, what, a, about. what a hill. <laughs> I have a...
morning cap was highly high, not now we've got nothing, not even anything. No. So just woke up after that rain last night. Oh that was biblical. It just went on all night. I had my door open part of the night and everything got a bit wet. Just two milling about. Get the coffee on. Uh, ah, they're alright actually. The top really in here. Yeah. But everything else is drenched. But um, last night I, I was experimenting with my uh, my phone and my glasses. Your phone and your glasses. Uh, my right eye is really weak, you know. Right. So the lens is uh, that right lens is really, really magnified. You know what I mean? Terrible. My right eye's bad. Like. But um, what I did was <clears throat> I put the I put the glasses over the phone lens, and I was taking photos of the stars, taking pictures of the night sky. You should see the pictures I got. Does it work? Uh, yeah, I put them on. I'll put them on the video. Yeah. Amazing, like. It wasn't even. But it wasn't even. Oh no! But it, last it was the, the magnification of them glasses. That's how bad my right eye is. Got what, some really good starts. What, what time was this at? Oh, when you went to bed? About two o'clock, eh? Right? Nice, right, so I'll put them I'll put them photos on because they were good. Anyway, gotta get this kettle boiled. It's just ready now. Ready to go down there, all the way down there through the valley, up the other side, back of there. Right, as usual, just flat grass. Flat grass. Any any rubbish left? Nothing. Uh, Rab's wee patch. That's Rab's wee patch. Right. That's it. Let's Ready. go. That way. That way. We're off. Off we go. Go. God, it's blowing a bloody it's gale. Up here, like it's it. changed totally from yesterday. Yeah. Ten to nine. Right. Well, we're back. We've arrived back. Him. He's back. He's Steve made it. Down. He's made One it. One piece. Just. I've made it. Don't know how we made it after that climb up. Can't believe how steep that was. Oof, hard. Just thinking about it coming down as well. It's hard coming down. But anyway, that's it then. Pack up and we're off till the next one. Boosh.